Well, hello there and welcome to this video. And as you can imagine, a bit of a strange one today. Today, we're gonna to be talking about my rental property and how I use QuickBooks Online to make sure I keep it all in check. Join me as we take a tour around my rental property, having a look at how it all works and how I keep that on QuickBooks Online. Stay tuned. Okay then everyone, my name is Aaron Patrick. I am a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer, that QuickBooks chap on the internet, and also head of account here at Boffix. Now today we're gonna to be looking at my rental property and trying to figure out exactly how we convert this that we see and we're gonna have a look at today into what is basically QuickBooks Online. Now the idea of putting your rental property into QuickBooks is gonna become something very, very important very soon because as soon as making tax digital becomes a thing and becomes compulsory, then we're gonna to need to have to find a way to get your rental income into some form of software. And to my mind, QuickBooks Online is the best solution out there. So let's take you along with us and let's actually go and find out what's in this rental property. Okay then, so you guys are currently at the front door. If I was to look behind the front door though, you'll see that we have a nice little layout of the bottom floor. Now this is a three bedroom, three story townhouse. If I go into the first room, you'll see that, I'll turn on the light. We have a nice garage available for the new tenants. And importantly, a connecting door as well, which actually I found when I was living here to be a massive, massive benefit. Downstairs, we have a toilet. And then through this door is the kitchen. As you can see, there's a space there for the fridge freezer to be put into place. Space for dishwasher. And that's space for a washing machine as well. Plenty of cupboard storage for them all. And that's a little oven to go with it. Outside here, I'm not gonna take you into the garden itself, but you can see there's a nice little garden area. On the left-hand side, well, this is gonna be one major expense for me to get done before the new tenants move in. So I need to be recording the fact that we're having that completely replaced. Um, and we want to be making sure we do that correctly. A nice little hive heating system for them here. Let's have a look at upstairs. So as soon as you make yourself upstairs, we go straight into the lounge. and this Juliet style balcony as well. Look out into your nice garden. To the left of here, we got bedroom number one. Nice size bedroom. And from what I have heard, you do the same thing. Plenty of storage spaces built in. And the rest of this floor, is bathroom number two. Then we take you up to the rest of the stairs. Remember, three story this one. So, in the third story at this point in time, this one here is master bedroom. We'll do that last. Behind you, though, is the second bedroom.
Loft space above, got plenty of <laughs> loft items up there. Cheeky way to be able to keep hold of some of the stuff you want to keep hold. Stick it into your loft. Boiler. And then in here, we have the main bathroom, full size bath, shower, toilet, and then some areas on here. Cheeky little mirror as well. Then finally, we move into the master bedroom. So master bedroom wise, we've still got to do the carpets, get them cleaned and tidied. See a nice big bedroom. More storage cupboard over here. We have storage in every single one of the bedrooms. Noise. Cheeky mirror. And then, last but not least, a nice little ensuite as well. So there we have it, a nice little tour of the rental property. Now let's take you back to the studio where we figure out how we're gonna convert this into something that QuickBooks Online can help us out with. Plenty of tips and tricks on making the most of your rental property. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so welcome back to the studio. Now what we're gonna look at now is how we can turn that rental property into something that on QuickBooks is gonna make our lives so much easier. And it's almost like QuickBooks was made for rental because honestly, I use it for my rental property, as you've seen, and it's an absolute dream. So let's go and see how well it is. All right, straight in front of me now, I've got QuickBooks Online. One of the things that's gonna be super useful for you is making the most of this bank account section just here. Now, a big tip when you are utilizing rental property is to make sure you have a separate bank account. A, it's gonna make it easier for you to track the money in, the money out. It's gonna give you a good indication of how profitable that venture is gonna be, how much surplus cash that you might have at the end of the particular project, maybe to look at investing in another rental property. And it'll just keep you disciplined to making sure that that's separate money and that's money that you wanna be keeping on top of for when it comes to your business decisions with your rental property. For example, if they need a new kitchen or some repair work, you've already got a slush fund in that separate property it's gonna be a much easier way for you to manage those unexpected costs. So a separate bank account's really, really recommended. Look at my links below. I've got links to loads of different banking solutions for you and some really nice incentives for you to get some benefits for doing that as well. But let's concentrate on QuickBooks. So if we're looking at QuickBooks now, then attaching that second bank account is actually really, really useful for you. And if I look at a bank account that I've attached here, it means that as your Gas services come through, heat and light services come through, some insurance comes through, all of that's being accounted for for you. And it, all it takes is a few nice little rules here and there's a setup here, and you're gonna get a really good breakdown of again, how well that business venture, that rental property is doing for you. It also means that you're completely ready for the world of making tax digital. Now, making tax digital is a topic for another video, and I've done plenty of videos on that and plenty more over on my sister channel, Boffix Accountancy. So either watch some of those, I'll try and put some links here, then everywhere, but you wanna be prepared for making tax digital. It's gonna be a huge change for you. And if you're already using software, you're pretty much ready for that change already. So keep it nice and simple. With rental property, it's all about attaching a bank account, letting that bank account do the work for you, making sure that you're then putting light and heat into the right place, you're putting all the transactions in, and you're gonna be in a good position to be able to be on top of what those costs are gonna be. Now, normally the most complex area though is going to be how to deal with rental income, especially if you have any agent fees involved. Now, this is for those people out there who aren't renting them out completely by themselves, and you're utilizing a letting agent to do some of that work. 
Now they may take a very small fee just for actually getting that tenant in there in the first place. Or they may be charging you even more if they're going to be helping you get the renovation of the place. They're going to make sure that all the questions and all the issues from the tenant go straight to them. Then if that's the case, they're going to have significantly more expenses and significantly more costs involved there as well. But either way, most of the time that this will happen is they will pay you the net figure from the tenant of all the fees that they've included. And you need to be making sure that you account for them correctly. Because at that top figure, the income that you've received for that should be the rent that was agreed. So as an example, if it was £750 that you had shown there at the top, you then need to show any expenses against it, even if you've only received, say, £700 into your bank account. £750 has to be the income figure we show, and then we really want to be showing those other expenses separately to keep things nice, neat and tidy. So in QuickBooks, there's a clever way for us to do that. As an example, let's look at this £579. Let's assume that it was £600 of rent and then I had some fees of £21 I need to account for. How do I do that? Well, the simplest way is to click into the transaction and use the split option just here. Now that I've got the split option up in, up in play, I can say that my category was rental income. Remember, you shouldn't have VAT turned on, so don't worry about VAT. And I can put 600 pound in the top figure. Then I need to account for my fees. Well, let's say in this particular case that my fee, my agent fees was 10 pound. And let's say as well, we had a small repair fee that one was £11. So my gross fee at the top, the amount of money that I received for my rental income in this case was £600 and then my £10 fee, my £11 fee and I'm slowly but surely putting those figures into place. Now what I would also advise everyone does is use the add attachment option just here and with that add attachment option you're going to be able to go in and be able to put in your rental statement that you should receive each and every month. Once I'm happy with that I apply and accept and if I look at my profit and loss account in a little bit more detail you'll see my profit and loss account shows it in more detail. There's my rental income, £600, the gross amount that I wanted to show. There's my agent fee of £10 and my repairs and maintenance of £11, giving me that £579 that hit my bank account. But if I had shown that as just income, I'd be understating how much income I had received. And the features don't just stop there. QuickBooks also gives us great options with our mobile phone. You see, we can jump into QuickBooks. We can even get to the point where we just take photos of any expenses we need to worry about. So if you've just had to nip down to the local shop to buy maybe a new key or you've had to have a key cut, whatever it's going to be, then grab your phone, take a photo of that receipt. You're not going to miss out on that juicy repairs and maintenance cost. You can also track mileage as well. So as you go to and from your rental property, you can make sure that it's recording that mileage for you, completely automatic. And you can run reports to understand exactly how profitable that project is for you. Is this venture of renting this out working for you? Have you accounted for all the costs that are associated with it? Well, having QuickBooks is going to give you the ultimate chance to keep an eye on that. I mean, you can access that data wherever you need to, to access it. I promise you, even as me, as an accountant, it wasn't until I sat down, looked at a year's worth of figures, did I figure out what was working and what wasn't. And that's the decision then that I can make onto my next rental property. And I can keep using that experience, using that knowledge, using the numbers I have available to make those crucial decisions. And with QuickBooks, you can make the same decisions. And there we have it, a look into why QuickBooks Online and rental property is a match made in heaven.
Again, for my rental property, it's been an absolute lifesaver. And I wanna make sure it's right for you as well. Let me know in the comments below, is there any other things you need to go through to be able to make QuickBooks work for you? Do you need me to go in a much deeper dive into my own rental property, my own rental accounts, and let you know how to move the rental account side over to your tax return? Keep an eye on this channel because we're gonna be ready and waiting for MTD. And making tax digital is going to be a huge point in why QuickBooks is going to be a great time and also compliance part for you, for you going forward with your rental property. My name's been Aaron Patrick. This video has been an absolute pleasure to do for you. And I hope you guys get yourself your own rental property and start seeing how QuickBooks Online can help you realise those rental property dreams. My name's Aaron Patrick. It's been a pleasure. I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. A little outtake now, me actually figuring out how to get all of this stuff down, hopefully, in one go. Let's have a, let's have a gander at this. Should we switch off all the lights? Another final look at the front room. So as I said in the intro, a nice little free bed, free up, townhouse, relatively big, definitely room for a family, so definitely got everything that, that people would normally need. And yeah, pretty much everything we need from a rental property. Very low maintenance, which has been great. A couple of issues here and there. Kitchen itself probably does need a makeover at some point. That's definitely on the cards. But apart from that, we are all good. So, what we're going to do now, again, like I said, get back to the studio and have a look at how to record all this. Put this online. Yeah, 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 yeah. I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be better catch you if you fall. I can make it brighter when it's dark, when it's dark. Cause I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's really new Even if we stay in bed My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him na, 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 na My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah Hello and thank you for watching that video. What you may not know is this channel that you've watched this video from is part of a wider group. That wider group is called Apple Core Production. And the three channels that we have involved are as follows. Aaron Patrick, the QuickBooks Chat. Boffix Tax Tip. Finally, we have Apple Core Live and Geeky. All the links and everything are down below in the description, but it really mean a lot to us if you can go and give a like to the other channels as well.